like a milli rocket Skin clear, still look young, Andy Miller knock it. money in my pocket, don't call me a money pocket Engine get to rock it, it sound like a thunder rocket Yeah, I still love my baby even when it's toxic Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade the knock it Russell Wilson, way I get low and stay in the pocket I get paid and do my dance like a touchdown Yeah, I can't do no trying to leave that gun around Get ready Moderators, don't block anybody. You can time them out, but don't block them. Don't type in all caps, you'll get timed out. Getting started in a minute. Storming out here. In the 
Let's get it. Yes. You can let us see what's wrong. Come on. It's not hard to fool me. Cause I'm addicted to the good life. What's going on? What's going on? Let's so get it. It is storming up a storm here in Hot Atlanta. So we're going to do what we can while we can. In the chat room, you know how we do. Age, city, gender. Let's do the roll call. Clap. Clap. Roll call, y'all. people let's get the likes up to over 600 over 600 on the likes please so we can keep rolling on through Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Your godfather in the house to what's fast becoming uh, a go-to show here on Late Tight on YouTube. We don't have a name for it. We're going to keep on moving. All right. So shout out to everybody here in Atlanta. It's raining up a storm down here. We got Jonathan Moore, 30-year-old male from Louisiana. We got Daisy, 4'4", 24-year-old female from Minneapolis. How's everybody doing tonight? Get the likes up, get the likes up, keep them up. Because, guys, as long as we keep the likes, the engagement over 50%, we keep on moving through. Oh, what? You wanted to... Oh, you like the glasses? Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. These glasses are called, believe it or not, they're called Hotation. Hotation, I book, <laughs> bullshit you not. These are called Hotation. Let's see if I can get that out in the camera. Hotation. <laughs> I don't know if I can get that in the camera. It's going to focus on me, so let me see. Ah. Did you get it on there? Oh, well, you gotta trust me. They're called a hotation. You know, put them in your hotation instead of your rotation. <laughs> From Chrome Hearts. I love Chrome Hearts glasses. So, uh, guys, remember we talk about the three Fs your frames, your fragrance, and your footwear. If your frame game is on point, folks understand something. When people are looking at you, speaking to you, 80% of the time they're looking in your face and what you put on your face matters. So every man needs a great pair of sunglasses. Even though you're indoors, I just felt like putting them on and cracking that joke. But even if you if you have on frames, you got to switch up your frame game from time to time. Don't always just have the 
black acetate sometimes you want to have in you want to have some different kind of materials in there i'm going to do a video on how to pick great eyewear because you know what as many people as more more people are coming to this channel they don't a lot of people don't really know that i'm actually a image consult image consultant in real life people meet you where they meet you some people think i'm a fragrance reviewer some people are shocked to find out that I actually talk about uh, style and fashion. Um, some people meet me from the image side and they're shocked to find out I talk about fragrance or we even get into this whole thing about life. But here's the thing on this channel, if you can find it in GQ magazine, you can find it on this channel. And today, everybody keep on Otasia. Otasia, where you at? Otasia is Otasia is becoming like the uh, channel mascot. Keep it moving. Fragrance of the day, Blue Sapphire from uh, Bodicea, the Victorious. And the drink of the night, a 2020 Red Bull. Mm. Such a good year. It's a good year for Red Bull. All right. Understand something. If you want to ask me questions, I will never see them. If you want to ask me questions, you put them in Super Chat. And uh, that's the way they get highlighted. And when I get a chance to run through them, I will. So, guys, you see the title. Ladies, are your super high standards keeping you single? I call this the average woman dilemma. Now, all you have to do is throw a rock into the universe and you will read a blog post a Facebook post, a YouTube video, a magazine article, some woman somewhere talking about where all the good men at. Can't find any good men. I can't find any men on my level, right? And, you know, before the internet really took off and social media became a big thing, that was the story that all these women out here could not find men on their level as if all the men uh, were, you know, killed in the good guy genocide. And that's just not the truth. That's simply not true. There are plenty of good men out here, plenty of, there are plenty of, first off, there are plenty of good men out here, period. You know, yesterday I mentioned, we're going to have to find a video to do, although it's not going to become a big part of my my program i focus on high value men men who are in the top 10 percent, top five percent or the men who want to get there that's my business model my strategy those are people who employ an image consultant but there are men between that top 15 and that top 20 percent, anywhere from like seventy thousand dollars a year to eighty five thousand dollars a year guys in that range plenty of good solid decent guys that sadly Today, a lot of women overlook those guys. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. It must be a night owl. No, I just work all day long. I don't, I don't sleep. I, I work. Um, show that work, though, L boy. And tonight, I really want to address this because, you know, after last night's broadcast, can we be friends? <laughs> You know, I had some things pop up and I had some women ask, all right, all this stuff you say is good, but look, I'm an accomplished woman. I I spent, like it or not, I, I did what I was prompted to do, what I was told to do, what seemed to make a lot of sense. I went out here and made something to myself. A lot of women will say, I went out and became a doctor, a lawyer. Uh, 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 whatever, uh, nursing, I went out and did something and I'm, 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 and at that point, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a spring chicken. I'm not a young lady. You know, think about the women who went to college, went and got a graduate or a went and got a master's or a PhD or additional certifications or whatever. And then you're like that woman who called in in New York and they're in their late twenties and thirties. Then now they're turning around looking to see where all the men are. 
and they're finding out that uh, for whatever reason, guys just aren't out there like that. That's what these women are finding, that, that there are no men out there. Well, that's what they see. And what you're really seeing, ladies, is the men that you want, do they want you? See, when I was a young, uh, when I was a young hit squad guy, I remember seeing guys pulling up to the venues, the clubs, the lounges, the restaurants in their Porsches, their BMWs, their Mercedes, you know, their Bentleys. And I was driving, you know, I was driving nice, but I wasn't riding in that. I had a Mitsubishi 3000 GT. You know, I was definitely not, I wasn't slouching, you know. I, I was into sports cars back then. But I knew that those men getting out of those cars that lived in Highland Park or out in Plano who had offices downtown in Dallas or lived on the Upper East Side in New York City, these men were older, you know, 10, 15, 20 years more older than me. They were more seasoned. They had more disposable income. They were certainly higher ranked in organizations, I was an entry level guy, a junior associate, an account executive, just getting in my career. And I used to see women my age look over guys like myself and go into the older guys. And I said, hey, it's all in the game. They work to put themselves in a position. So if they, if the women are going after the bag, I can't fault them. Makes good sense. But there was always the Tinas. The Tinas. The Tinas of the group. See, our fraternity brothers, a lot of guys I hung out with, and then a bunch of beautiful women around us. Now, some of the folks were married. It was a really unique group. A bunch of good-looking, college-educated individuals. Young urban professionals, yuppies, out doing the damn thing in Dallas. You know, and here's the thing. One actually was from Europe. I don't want to tell too much of the story because people start knowing what I'm talking about. But there was one girl from the, one woman from the group. Her name was Tina. Tina was a, she was a member of AKA Skiwi. You know, one of those adjustable sixes that I love to talk about so much. She was cute, but she could be pretty. And Tina had a lot of men trying to holler at her. But Tina was always trying to get wife to, but Tina was always trying to skip over those guys and go to the, the cowboy. Or this is back before the Mavericks were any good. But, you know, trying to go for out for the ballers. And she was going for the VP of mergers and acquisitions and, you know, masters of the universe. And she would have no problem being the side chick to one of these guys because Tina always felt like that's the kind of man she deserved. Now, Tina went straight to, she went to a Mill Little Road college, just like the rest of us. University of Oklahoma is not an Ivy League school. It's a highly regarded state school. She went to a, a state school in Texas. She graduated right there in the middle, 3.0, an adjustable six. But in Tina's mind, she deserved a millionaire. So anybody who tried to holler at Tina, she had no time for her. So much so that Tina became like one of the dudes, one of the homeboys. Remember I told you those guys? Guys, ladies, remember, guys, remember I told you ladies to avoid the cool chick? This is Tina. She became one of the cool chicks. And often Tina would get out, hang out with these ballers. You know, be less be list celebrities. And for two or three years, she was on top of the world, getting flued out here and there. But then a strange thing happened. Tina hit 25, and all of a sudden, her VIP status started to drop. She couldn't get into VIP at prime time, that's Deion Sanders Club, like she could the previous years. She had to stand in line when she was 26 or, 20, when she was 26 or 27 
like the rest of us. She had to stand out there with the rest of the people and she could not figure it out. Now, understand, Tina was a, an attractive woman, but uh, she had the typical uh, American woman's workout plan. She didn't. She worked out a little bit. Now, I never hooked up with Tina. Some Tina would hook up with guys in the group, but she was never anything really special. I mean, she was average. She was an average looking girl. Thing that did it for Tina was she was a little bit more fair complected and she had uh a longer she had a long she had long hair. But then facially, eh. You know what happened? Tina's still single. Tina's still single because anytime somebody stepped to Tina that wasn't on her level because her standards were so high she never gave him a chance because she always felt as though she deserved better and sadly there are so many women out there like tina they got these super high standards that keep them single now understand something tina graduated let's just say she graduated in accounting she had a middling career job like the rest of them. But because she was a little bit more attractive than the fours and the fives, that eternal seven, I know these eternal sevens well, she always held out for the next guy. And even when she got involved with a guy, she would be willing to get rid of a decent guy, a good guy, a guy between the average guy and the high value guy. I want to, I don't know what to call him. Uh, above average Aaron. We'll call him Aaron. Above average. A.A. Ron. She would, she would deal with A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron would try to step to her and A.A. Ron and her could have had a nice life. They could have went out to Ruth Chris. And, 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 and you know, once a once a month because they were both single childless, you know, but she didn't want A.A. Ron. She wanted the VP of merger and acquisitions, but he was already married with a kid. She didn't mind being a side chick. Why? Because she felt like I will either have it all or nothing. So let's talk about it before we get into it. Where are we at? We're on the likes. We don't even have fifteen hundred likes and we got thirty one hundred people in here. I tried to told you, all but you all didn't heard me. I know somebody in the chat room was saying you all better. Give me my likes, man. Run my likes. Run me my likes. Don't make me go get Umar on y'all. Don't make me go get Umar Johnson. Run me my likes, man. Run them up. Four, three, two, one. Come on. Are we getting there? There we go. Run them likes. Keep them up, folks. I don't ask much. So, Tina. Tina, and I know so many women like Tina. You know, a lot of these girls, a lot of these women are college educated, sorority. You know, I, I mean, women who honestly in previous generations or years gone by would have married the local pharmacist, the local plumber. The, uh, you know, 
They wouldn't, these women wouldn't have got out of college and thought that they were better than the men. You know, they went, they went to school to meet a man and was happy when they met a guy who was majoring in mathematics and went to work for NASA or became a, a teacher or something like that. But no, in my generation, it started with these women coming out thinking a college degree actually bought them something on the open mating and dating market. And it goes something like this. For years, women have, we've heard women like Tina complain about not being able to find a man on her level. Now understand, her level was average or above average. But in her mind, she was a 4.0. In her mind, she was a, an 8 or a 9. In her mind, you ask, you, you ask her, what do you look like on a scale from 1 to 10? You can't use 7. She's going to tell you 8 and not blink. And when I say, you say, well, you like Beyonce? She's going to like, well, yeah, when I'm all made up. And that ain't true. Tina was cute, attractive, but she had a, she, she was the original jawline person. She, I mean, there's no way you could mis put that woman next to the beauties of our day and they're even close. I mean, she's not somebody you would kick out of the house, but not being able to find a man on her level was what she perceived her career to be because Tina had in her mind that she was, a, Tina was this person that was always going to go to grad school, going to go to get her graduate degree or go get her MBA, old French toast. So the question is, why do so many average women today want the best? Why do so many average women want the best today? Where did this I deserve mentality come from? And why, why would so many women like this rather have nothing or at all? You got women in this category where they have nothing or even be a side chick, a mistress to a Henry instead of matching up with A.A. Ron where she actually fits. She fits A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron went to college. He got he has a degree. He's an accountant. He went to work for a big six for a big four firm or even owns his own practice. But A.A. Ron ain't living. a He's he, he can even make good money, but his life is boring. A.A. Ron's life is boring and she needs excitement and trips and travels and everything else. So let's get into it. Many women have high standards, you know, Tina, the Tinas of the world, the Tinas of the world, at least they know th something. The Tinas of the world have high standards and they know it because I'm an AKA, I'm a Delta, I'm a sorority girl. And you know, I love, you know, I love some AKAs and some Deltas. I mean, I love all the sorority girls, but AKA was always kind of more my thing. No offense to anybody else, but that's it. Tina at least knew her standards was high. Tina would tell you my standards are high. I need somebody who can take me to Neiman Marcus and this and that, even though she, Tina could not have, Tina had was her stuff was getting turned off. She couldn't keep a credit card bill. Tina was broke. Out of the entire group, Tina was never putting her card down to pay for nothing because Tina was broke. Because Tina would go out and try to buy a $800 pair of, of shoes at 24 years old when she's making $30,000 a year. She was Carrie Bradshaw for real. And see, Tina at least understood the game she was playing. That's why she got played. She knew her standards were high. But the women I'm talking about are the women who are above, who are a step right below Tina, who are just like average women. Tina was above average, but she wasn't pretty, beautiful, or gorgeous. I'm talking about average women who have the same, similar high standards. They're just not openly vocal about it and not as materialistic but they still want the same things. When you ask them, they don't want to have to, they want to be married. They want two to three children. They don't want to have to work to pay significant bills after their first pregnancy. They want to live in the suburbs. You, you've heard it all. They want it all. They, they still want everything that Tina wants, but they're not on Tina's looks level. Now, the difference is, a lot of women in here are average, but they do something. 
See, they see Tina and know Tina's a little bit above her on looks, but then they see Hillary and they know Hillary is a straight up eight, nine. When they look at Hillary, the it girl, they all, they, Tina knows she's not Hillary and Angie knows she's not Hillary. Angie knows she's not Tina. Angela, see, Angela is the average average woman, the average girl. And she knows that she's got to go work and make money. So this is where your attorneys, your doctors, your lawyers, your finance people, this is where your go-getter ambitious women come from. Tina talks about going to get an MBA. Angela goes and gets the MBA. Angela goes to school, graduates, works two years, and then go, gets out of school and goes back and gets an MBA in the consortium program. So when about 26 years old, she's got a degree in engineering and an MBA from UT Austin. And you can't tell Angela nothing when she gets that MBA or that law degree or whatever, because you would think Angela went out and bought her two or three points on the look scale. Because unlike Tina, who was faking high value and trying to pretend and float in those worlds, Angela could afford it. Angela had all good credit. She can shop in Neiman's. She can shop in uh, uh, Fendi, Dolce Gabbana. She can buy whatever she wants. You know, she's not rich, but she's definitely well off. She's got that the little before they had these little cute dogs. I mean, we know what we're talking about. These are the true power, the 92 octanes, the mollies on Insecure of the World. That's where Angela is. But see, Angela and Tina are saying the same thing. They can't find a man on her level. See, Tina wants to be on Angela's accomplishments levels, but she's trying to get in there on her above average looks. Angie is trying to get up on Hillary's level of men through sheer accomplishments. And they're both looking at Hillary as though they want the men that Hillary can get. Now, see, Hillary is different. Beautiful women don't need accomplishments to get a high value man. They don't. This is what this is going to tick a lot of women off. Beautiful women don't need accomplishments, but high, but average women do want accomplishments to get around high value men. Let me say that again. Beautiful women can be accomplished, often are accomplished, but they don't need the accomplishments to get a high value man, to be around a high value man. Beautiful women can be around high value men on their looks. Above average, Tina's and Angie's average, they need accomplishments to be in these same rooms, these same spaces. So this is where the disconnect comes in. When you hear me talk about high value men, value looks, fitness, fitness, femininity, and friendliness, but that doesn't mean they want airheaded, I mean, bubble, I mean, bobbleheads. There are plenty of women that fit that criteria who are, have, who are intelligent, have degrees, can move well in society, can move well in all these other things. See, far, two, people want to try to act like it's one or the other. But see, like it or not, when Henry sees Hillary, Hillary fits his looks level. And all she has to do is be cooperative, agreeable, Feminine, beautiful, inspiration, all that kind of stuff. And she can get wifed up and flewed out at 21, 22 years old. Tina and Angie have to work harder to try to buy their way to be around men like this. And then these are the men that are on their level from a W-2 and a socioeconomic class. But she's not on the level of what he's looking for. So when A.A. Ron comes around, Angie's looking at A.A. Ron, who freshman year in college, oh, she the A.A. Ron was her boyfriend. A.A. Ron was cute. A.A. Ron maybe played as a fraternity, maybe didn't, but he was, you know, and Angie didn't play it. And Angie, most of the time, Angie ain't a sorority girl. Angie probably despises sorority girls because you got to be pretty to get in there because she's just not, she's not pretty. She's average. So Angie's not a sorority girl. Hillary is the it girl. Tina is in the sorority. Angie 
does not like the sorority girls. She's the one always talking about them AKs and them Deltas and all this other kinds of stuff, throwing salt at them. Now, I'm not saying all average women do that, but you know, if you went to college, you know there were some average women who, and you like, you you know you wanted to be an AK or a Delta. You just didn't think you'd get accepted or you couldn't pledge. You Your attitude wouldn't allow you to be in there. Come on, I'm talking to somebody. I'm preaching. Come on. I'm telling you the truth. Tell If I'm telling the truth, I need I need some hands up. I need some hands up. Y'all know Angie's. Angie's are the Angie's are the little Angie's are the women that are getting there, and Angie's will tend to actually get in there and work out, and you know they'll run and exercise because they're driven. Angie's gonna have the finest Brazilian, got the mink lashes, and she gonna talk about she gonna lead with her job, her her career, her money, her resources. She's gonna sit up there and tell you her accomplishments and her money and this. And that. Oh man, masculine energy on 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 overload with Angie. And see, everybody knows a Hillary and an A.A. Ron and a Tina and an Angie and all these people are in a group together. But then when you get over here, and I'm not going to use myself because that would be, no. No, 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 no. Whose name do I want to use? Um, Mark. But you got Mark. And Mark is a kappa. And Mark is the cop that walks down the yard and all the women are like, oh, that Mark is something else. The AKs like him, the Deltas like him, the Zetas like him, the Sigma Gamma Rose like him, the girls that didn't play is like him, the non-black women like him. Dudes want to be him. Women want to be with him. He's cool. He's smooth. He's charismatic. He's likable. He's not an asshole. But he's got that little air of uh, sophistication, got a little edge to him. He's the it guy. He's the it guy. And as much as a lot of women would say they don't want him or I don't like pretty boys like that or guys like that, you know, he's making grades. He's in Black Student Association, the president of the GUP, president of the Black People's Association or whatever. And he's got he got friends like him that are in his fraternity, and the other guys like him too. He hangs with guys like himself, and uh, he would holler at Hillary. When he's a junior, he's kicking with Hillary as a freshman, and if Hillary is smart, she's accepting his proposal when he's graduating, <laughs> and he's yeah. But when Mark is out doing his thing, because Mark was the man on the yard and he's still a man outside. See, they remember Mark walking on the yard and they still trying to find Mark out in the world. Mark then went ahead on with his life and he probably already got him a got him a, a young wife or he's doing his thing. Angie's still waiting to try to find Mark. Tina still could never get Mark, even though Tina was leading with her sexuality and she hooked up with Mark, but Mark never took her seriously because her credit was bad. She was getting shit cut off. Angie never hooked up with Mark, but I always had a crush on Mark. And Mark would be nice to Angie, but he always treated her like a little sister. So as much as she liked him, she kind of resented him. All right, then all these people get out into the world, and Angie's still holding out for Mark. Tina decided, I'm going to go over here and go around somebody who's Mark-like, but they're not Mark. And at the end of the day, all the A.A. Rons and all the Rogers and all the uh, Keiths, not Keith, but all the Kenneths and all the, and all the other guys are just getting skipped completely over to where you roll up around 27 to 30 years old and you're hearing Angie and Tina ask, why can't I find no man on my level? Well, the only man you're looking at is Mark and Mark wants Hillary. Always have, always will. And Mark is actually, in this story, we like to talk about how Mark, you know, he didn't fell off. He ain't done. No, Mark is out there. Mark is going on in his career, making money, doing his thing. And then Mark mess around and turn around and end up getting with a 21-year-old, 22-year-old, and he's 30. And Tina and Angie mad at Mark because men her age ain't choosing women her age. Well, the problem is you or overlook the guys on your level trying to get a guy up here. Your super high standards 
to try to get this one guy or one group of men that you never really qualified for. You overlooked all the men at this level, and now you're out there and say, well, if I can't get what I want, I'd rather be alone. Well, that's what you got. Yeah, are your super high standards keeping you single, ladies? Are your super high standards keeping you single? Now, Angie, Tina, they don't like Hillary. They don't like Hillary. When Hillary is around, they're around her. They're fake to Hillary. They'll ride, they'll go somewhere with Hillary because Hillary can get them in the first class or the VIP. But if they could, they would snake Hillary. And Hillary is pretty, but Hillary never gets her credit for being intelligent, well-mannered, all this other kind of things because Tiffany, not Tiffany, because Tina and Angie always thought what Hillary got everything because she was pretty. Tip, Tina didn't, uh, Hillary didn't earn her way anything. Tina and Angie thought, now the only reason she got a promotion, the only reason she got any of that stuff is because she's pretty. I had to work so hard. That's where this comes from. Angie resents that she had to work harder than she think Hillary did. Tina resents the fact that she's just a little bit less cute than Hillary, but she can't get the outside re uh, results that Hillary's getting. So they secretly hope Hillary's marriage and her relationships fall apart. <laughs> That's why they don't tend to have friends like this because they're typically not their friends. When it comes right down to it, ladies, Wherever you fall, if you are Tina or you're Angie and your standards are up here, we're trying to get the marks of the world. Man, we got to have a come to Jesus talk. Mark doesn't want you. He didn't want you back in the day. He doesn't want you now. Just because you have an MBA or a law degree does not make you any more appealing to Mark. When he was younger and knew you when you were right out of high school, a freshman or sophomore in college, he didn't want you. He was cool with you. He was never rude to you. But the women he wanted were a different cut and cloth. And he is, and it's perfectly fine. You can't make him want you by trying to put stuff. You can't buy him. You can't buy high value men or men like that. You either qualify for what they want or they don't or they don't or you don't. And the question is, why are you looking overlooking A.A. Ron? He went to college right along with Mark and everybody else. But all, but notice how I have had all this detailed uh, description for all these other personality types. But on the campus, most men were errands. Most men were Aaron's, not Mark's. And in, the, and in the black community, sadly, Angie and Tina, if they were white, they would have met up with Aaron's and they'd have been getting married right out of college because they were already probably living together in college. They'd have got married out of college. They would have bought their furniture at Ikea their first year when they lived in their apartment and they'd have been loving life for the first two years. The next thing you know, about 25 years old, they're having their first kid or their second kid versus getting out here in the happy hour scene, the club scene, continue to try to recapture the college life that you can never recapture. It's over. And you got a bunch of late 20s and 30 something people out in the club still trying to recapture the college university life and it's gone. You haven't matured any further. You don't have any more social skills. You stop maturing when you stop dating. You're further in your career. You're further up in your economic and your earnings, but you're completely socially awkward to where even if you ran into Mark or a guy like Mark, you can talk about stuff. You want to talk business. But when he's talking to you, it's not like he's talking to a woman. Even if he sees you and be like, hey, Angie, what's going on? Oh, yeah, I remember you. Like, man, Angie was always in shape. But, dang, there's just something about her, man. I mean, she's just a little hard. She's a little gruff. And Angie could never figure out, man. I mean, I knew he didn't like me when I was younger, but I figured now he done went through all them little bobbleheads like Hillary and his... <laughs> I'm an I got an MBA and I got a PhD. I mean, why? And 
and never ask Mark and Mark is never going to tell you. You're disagreeable. You're uncooperative. You're socially awkward. There's something off in the energy and the vibe and the communication. And I am not and I'm not invested enough in our interaction to explain it to you. I'd rather just keep us Facebook friends. LinkedIn contacts, LinkedIn connections and keep it moving. So you get Angie's and Tina's with a bunch of Marks and men like Marks all in their Facebook, all in their LinkedIn's, but no dialogue. They go look on his page. He don't even know that exists. Ladies, your super high standards and one itis is keeping average women single. It's keeping you single because Mark don't want you. And even after you get a chance to reconnect at the 10 year reunion or whatever, y'all can hook up. Y'all can have a, a weekend fling or two. But he's never going to take you seriously. If Mark wants a woman, he is serious about her and he proposes to her. We're going to talk about that too after I open the call line. See, Mark, high value men. See, a lot of women, let me go into that. See, a lot of women have said men on Mark's level ain't out here trying to find no wives. They're out here trying to run game. No, no, Mark marries. Mark wants a wife. And Mark is not trying to be with somebody for two, three, four years. He's trying to he's trying to get a wife and move on and get started with life. He just does not want you, Angie. He doesn't want you, Tina. He wants Hillary or he wants uh, Hillary part two. If he's 35. He wants the 23 year old version of Hillary. If he's 30, 35, he wants the 23 year old version of Hillary. He wants them under 25 because men know implicitly if you're going to get deal with a woman, it's better to get her younger because she's easier to deal with and more cooperative, more agreeable. The longer she goes, the more likely you're going to have issues. Now, women get upset, but this is hell true. So the question becomes, what do you do? Because see, A.A. Ron is still out there. You cannot get Mark. Mark will, like I say, he may he may hit it a couple of times, but Mark, he ain't going to lead you on. But see, here's what you hear women talking about. So I should settle for A.A. Ron? Oh, we got to talk about it. Let's talk about it, ladies. How many of you have waited too long for a man who never wanted you? You want Mark, but Mark don't want you. And all you really should have been looking for it was somebody on Aaron's level. But you thought you were better than that. Oh, damn. We're about to go there. Take him in, Tara. Money work. Come on, Tara. Let's get the call line open. Money work. So y'all rain up on the narrow. Make it rain them likes. Make it rain them likes. Money work. So me get away the car. En algún lugar, un lugar para trabajar. Eh, y si no hay para emigrar, todo money, money, todo el dinero. Solo un par de gente se lleva el putin entero. Funny, funny, pasa verdadero. Si por el show, siempre llegará primero. Pero no corremos antes o después. Solo a los suyos, que Dios te lo ve. Que por más que tarde lo veré caer. Somos malos buenos y tenemos que ver. Come on, Tierra. They're saying y'all better be built like this if y'all want to get a mark. Money world. Tierra scoops everybody. The money world money girl. World. Dinero, ya lo veré. 
olvidaré No vendo mi alma, lo lograré Seré el más grande, me olvidaré De dónde vengo, ni cómo voy Money work yeah. El mundo quiere dinero yeah. Yeah. Go to Yara Money work That she can get this here, that's right Se arregla con dinero Money Come on, ladies, let's talk about it. I shouldn't have to do all that to get no man. He should just accept me for who I am. Money work. Why can't I have an NBA? Money See, they don't want no woman who's intelligent. They want them silly little girls. Money work. Lunatic. Lunatic. They don't want no woman with no intelligence. See, men like me like Mark and them, they're intimidated by a strong woman. They're intimidated by a real woman. Remember Tommy Lauren talking about value, value, how ambitious her and her friends were and how accomplished. Mark is accomplished. Mark don't need you to be ambitious. Mark needs something else. Mark wants something else. Now understand, to get on the show, you're going to have to show yourself on the camera. You don't have to get on YouTube. You don't have to get on YouTube, but you are going to have to... Uh, but you are going to have to. But you are going to have to uh, let me see who I'm talking to. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to start up your video. No video, no, no showy yo. So here we go. There we go. See. Now. In years past, a lot of women were able to tell this story uh, that, that there are no men on her level to justify why they couldn't get a man. Here's a question. Mark would kick it with Tina and would kick it with Angie if they could act like Hillary. If you could act like Hillary, Angie, you'd have a better chance at winning over a brother like Mark. If you could act like Hillary, Tina, you'd have a better chance of getting Mark. But you thought Hillary was dumb. You thought Hillary was silly. The game... So here's the question. Why would so many women rather have nothing? I mean, here's the thing. If you want Mark, you got to play Mark's game. See, Aaron it has his standards, but he's not as demanding as Mark because he realizes that he is not a high-value man. Men are very... Men... Let me say it this way. Let me tell you something. You ladies... Especially, you, you, you ladies cannot deal with rejection. Especially, Tina. Tina, that adjustable six. Tina cannot deal with rejection because she feels like she deserves Mark. Mark was the guy she liked in college. Mark was the guy who broke her heart in college. Mark might have been the guy who took her virginity. In some cases, oh, I'm about to go there. I'm about to go there. Hold on tight. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Mark might have been the guy that got her pregnant. And then she had to have that uh, thing taken care of. Ooh. -wee. Did I just say that? Mark may have been the one that got her, uh, knocked her up in college. Oh, and even worse. Let's go there. Let's Since we're there, let's go all the way there. Mark is her BD. 
Mark is her BD. Mm-hmm. Especially the women who have B Mark as their BD. Oh, no. Because just because Mark, and here's the thing. Because Mark hit it one time or two times, she felt like she deserved a man on Mark's level. And Mark was like, no, no, chick. That was just after the Kappa party, and I had a little too much Kappa punch, and, you know, it was fun. I mean, I enjoyed it, but you know what? I mean, I'm, I'm a fucking Mark. I mean, you're Tina. Or you're Angie. I can't walk around the yard with you. I'm Mark. And see, if that had been flipped, I see you in the chat room. I see you. If that had been flipped and that had been Aaron, and Aaron had hooked up with Hillary after the AKA party, there ain't no way in the hell Aaron would have been thinking he could be walking around on the yard with Hillary. Aaron be like, man. Aaron be like, oh, snap. I went to the AKA party, man. I, and, you know, Hillary and they was line dancing. They was going around. And next thing you know, we start dancing. And they, st they played that, it never rains in Southern Cali. And she had been drinking a little bit of that cap punch. Next thing you know, bump, bump, but down now. And it went down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. But, you know, it was that one time. We 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 kicked it that one time. And that's it. Ain't no way Mark would have been talking about, hey, I'm going to go buy her a ring. Hey, hey Ron would have been talking about, I'm going to go buy her a ring and make her my girl. He'd have been like, nah, I don't match that. I see you in the chat room. He'd have been like, nah. And, and here's the thing. Hillary may even have hooked up with him one more time in college just because he kept his mouth closed and played it cool just because he kept his mouth closed and played it cool she may have you know six months or a year later she may have been like hey hey ron uh my my tire seems to be a little low could you come over to my my apartment uh i need a little help with my tire okay What's going on, Hillary? Yeah, I can yeah that, your tire's just fine. Yeah. You know what? I appreciate you coming by, uh, A.A. Ron. Yeah, you're a nice guy. I, I always, ever since uh, I've known you, I always knew I could count on you. Yeah, okay. And I remember that I remember that one time when I had a little too much to drink and we, yeah, yeah. You know. Sometimes I think we should have did it again. And A.A. Ron is like, what? Yeah, I mean, you didn't, yeah, you know. It's summertime. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. Yeah, you know. And then she basically invite him on up to do do, and then get on out the system because that's the that's the reward for not running her, your mouth. Because Hillary's trying to keep her stock up so she can get Mark. Because every Hillary got an AA Ron somewhere in her past. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. The Godfather's land. Y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all ain't ready for this. But Tajane, okay, get yourself together. So the problem is Hillary knows her levels and she can play her levels. She don't snub an A.A. Ron that she didn't kick it with, but she knows she's on a Mark's level. But Tina, if Tina hooked up with A.A. Ron, she, gonna, she thinks she did him a favor. Please. Girl, if you don't sit down somewhere... So I need to understand. You got these super high standards. Your above average woman is Tina. Your average woman is Angie. All three of these women are accomplished at some level. You know, Hillary could have went to law school, chose not to because she got married and had children and a, and a happy husband. She, while you were getting her MBA, she was on her second kid. And you're looking at her like she's just a housewife or she's just a girl. But she's like, yeah, oh, we got we didn't went there tonight. Oh, look at y'all cussing me out. OK. Uh, all right. We're going to get it started. We got Tanjane in the house. And she's going to tell me what the hell. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Ola. Ola Ray. Was you in Thriller? OK. OK. Go ahead. Uh, Tanjane. Tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. What I get wrong. Hi, how are you, Mr. Samuels? I'm all right. What you got on the topic? Are your super high standards um, keeping you single? It it might be. I have a little bit of an issue discerning um, 
where I might be lying on the scale. I don't hold on, 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 hold on. Um, do you have me on speakerphone? No. Are you you're on... in my earbuds right here? You have what? You have you're in my earbuds right here. Okay, go ahead and say again because I could barely hear you. Start again. Start again. I didn't hear what you said. Can you hear me? I can now. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm just having a little bit of a difficulty finding if I'm a Tina or a Hillary or if I am an Angie. How old are you? I'm 26. 26. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you go to college? Um, I have two associate's degrees, one in culinary arts and one as a massage therapist. Oh, no. Let's go to the chart, shall we? So, okay. Let's go to the chart. Which which one would which one would this, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but have you ever dated Marks? Have Marks ever have you ever dated a Mark? Um I I'm not quite sure. Um I'm pretty new to the community, uh -huh. so I'm not quite sure what these are. You what? I'm pretty new. I said I'm new to this community, so I don't know what these names mean. I don't know what a mark is. A mark. Is. A mark okay. A mark would be somebody okay. First off, remember last night I told you guys the the artists, the stylists, those women, the, the cooks, the mm -hmm. chefs. I'm talking to the guys from last oh, night. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, have you ever dated a guy who's a, a fraternity guy in college who's a good looking guy who went to law school? Um. No, I haven't. Okay. What would you consider to be a, a top ten percent high value man? Um, and have you and have you dated those? Um, I've I haven't I haven't dated them. Um, definitely CEOs, executives. Okay, well they're um, not always just CEOs. They, but what I'm saying is, the kind of Hillarys and Hillarys get mm -hmm. Hillarys get with Marks or Henrys. We're gonna switch the word to Henry now. Hillarys get with Henrys. High earners, not rich okay. yet. High earners, not rich yet, are the guys who are driven top 10%, top 5%. Guys making $10,000 a month or more, trying to own their own business, become a master of the universe. Um, and you're 26. <laughs> I'm 26. All right. Have guys like that ever been drawn to you for wife um, for wifing? For wifing, no. Well... Then that's your answer. So what is my answer exactly? Well, <laughs> um, you're, you're trying to get me to kind of rate you, and I, I yeah, but I, I, but yeah. that's not the question. But that's not the but that's not the show. The show is are your oh, super okay. high standards keeping you single? You're trying to back you're trying to backdoor rating, and I'm trying to answer your question and be polite. But the net net of it is, if the guys you're talking about the high value master of the universe guys are not approaching you. For wifing, that that's that there's a reason. But that's not. Okay. I'm not doing the okay. ranking show tonight, though. Okay, so so I think my question. Um, Do you I have high standards, a, man? Um, I, I, I do. Do I you do, do you do you need a man who's making six figures or more? No, not necessarily. Well, then you don't have high standards. Okay, so so okay. my my Okay, ma'am, I gotta get yeah. to somebody who else is on the topic. You don't okay, go ahead and ask your question, but I don't think this is the right show for you. Okay, um okay, so my question is um what what exactly for someone who is twenty six, unmarried, and no children, never has been married, um, I don't quite find myself falling into the delusion of high value or being a high value woman. Um, all right. Ma'am, ma yes. ma you're all over the place. I'm trying to be polite, but you're not really getting there. Oh, okay. Well, I can get off the phone then. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I'm trying to be polite, but you know, the show is what it is. Okay, ladies, understand something. If a man were to call in and do that, I wouldn't even be that polite to him. The show topic is, are your high standards keeping you single? Not, hey, give me direction in life. Hey, give me a ranking. Hey, 
I got this problem at work. That's not this show. You wouldn't go to a barbecue restaurant looking for a vegan solution. And just because you're a woman doesn't mean I'm going to say, oh, well, let me change all the stuff I'm talking about. I got a plan here, format here. Respect the show, please. Hola. Uh, okay. All right. Are you ready for this? Let me go ahead and ask you to unmute yourself. There you go. Unmute. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So how old are you? I am 29. I know the danger zone. 29? Yes. 29. I don't know why it seems like everybody, everybody is uh, <laughs> kind of breaking up tonight, but go ahead. Oh, okay. I can, but let me go ahead and do this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Okay. Go ahead. I think I'll try to close down that. Maybe I'll do it better. Okay, I'm 29. Yes. All right. And um, I'm not married. No kids. And what did you say about I, kids? No kids. Zero. Okay. Zero kids. And I probably do have high standards. And I just looking to get married. I have that lifelong partner. All right, and... all right. So, uh, high standards. Let's start with this. Did you go to college? Yes. Okay. Um, what did you go to school for? Uh, business administration with a minor in finance. Okay. And you want to be married. How many kids do you want? Uh, the most three, but I will be okay with just one. Okay. Uh, and here comes the other question. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant? No, I don't. All right. No, I, well, no, 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 no. Actually, sorry. I want, I'm okay with working, but I don't want my, the money that I'm earning to it's, be. It's the same question. Okay. Yes. So no. You don't want to have to pay significant bills. You want him to pay Correct. for the big stuff. All right. Correct. And what city do you live in or state? I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So in order to, how much would a man need to make to have a wife stay at home with three children to live a middle class or above middle class life? Because I'm assuming you want your kids to go to a nice school, have the option to go to college and all that stuff. Yes. How I much would, would how much would a man need to make? In, in Minnesota? Yeah. Or just in, in general? Just in general, but in Minnesota is fine. Um, and okay, well, I would just say in Minnesota, I would say upwards 200 at the, what part of that, Minnesota? Um, like in the suburbs. Okay. Well, here's the thing. No, yeah, it's not. closer to $300,000 to, to live, okay. to, to have a five bedroom home in the suburbs in a nice builder <laughs> community or a gated community. The kind of lifestyle women are talking about is close to $350,000 where you have a car, your husband has a car, whether the kids yeah. can have cars at 16. That means he's going to have to replace your income because you're not working. So how many, what percentage of men in this country make $350,000 or more? Out of 100%, how many men make that? I would say 15 percent <laughs> oh that's unrealistic isn't it we're talking about we're talking about uh the top five percent almost one percent between okay. one and five percent so let me ask so here's the question here's the real question yes when you went to do you know men like that making 300 plus thousand dollars a year Yes, I do. And what, Not necessarily my age. Okay. And when they're in when they date, what kind of women do they date? Um, the only in Minnesota. Okay, is, ma'am, it's not just Minnesota. That's just Okay. But uh I would say high standard women. No, they women no, that high standard high standard. Yes, and women that are used to... No, not high standard. Not high standard. 
How tall okay. are you? I am five four. Uh, dress size? Uh, my dress size is size eight. Much, I know it's a little heavy. How much did you weigh at the last weigh-in? Last time you weighed yourself? My, my last weigh-in, I weighed one sixty. I do. I I do want to do a disclaimer. Uh, I don't. I don't think you. No, I don't need a disclaimer. Okay. Um, so. Men who make the kind of money you're talking about, yes, are are with women that that are pretty beautiful or gorgeous and tend to be younger. But they're okay. they're feminine, fit, and friendly. And the thing is, I gotta ask you. Yes. Why do you feel like you need to have a man that's making that? Why do I feel like? Yes, I need yes, to because have you went to college, right? Correct. When you were in college, did you go to a predominantly white institution? Yes, I did. All right. Were you the it girl on campus? Um, were you the girl that everybody wanted? No, I don't think so. I mean, not amongst white men. but Well, well, oh, well here's the thing. Yeah. The kind of women we're talking, the kind of women that fit that category are the it girls, period. Were you the men all the black men wanted? Are you the woman all the black men want it? Yes. Really? Yeah, there wasn't a lot of black men. That's okay, well, I, yeah, okay. <laughs> so yes. uh, if you had to rank yourself on a scale from one to 10 and you can't use seven, what would you rank yourself? Um, from Looks the... wise, just your face. Look wise? Yeah, just your, just your looks. From what I've heard. No, I'm asking where, uh, you. I'm asking oh, yes. you, not yes. what I say. What would you rank yourself? I would rank myself a five, six. Okay. Right now. Uh, no. Why? Why right now? Why right uh, now? Because I've gained a little weight from. But before. see, but see. But, wait, wait, so the question I asked was about your face. And yeah, my face is it's a little bit more rounder now. So, so. without the weight, you would rank yourself where? I from I would say an adjustable sex. That's okay. I'm trying to see how self aware you are. Have you ever dated men with that kind of money? Not that I know of. I haven't gotten that far to. What do you mean, know. not that you know of? <laughs> uh, you know, because no, I don't. I mean, I mean, men 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 tend to tell women what they do for a living, pretty much oh. up front. I mean, Do you have men like this? Have you ever had men at this level wanting to? When I was when I was younger, yes. Not younger, how so old? Uh, probably like in my 22, 20. And they were wanting to do what okay. with you? I uh, willing to propose. I got proposed to. Hold on, it didn't me, work. Let, let, hold on. So then, hold on, stop. So he proposed to you in public. He dropped, yes, in public. Dropped to one knee and produced a ring in public in front of folks. Yes, and it after that it just didn't work out. How long were you guys together? We were together for three years. How old was he? How old was he? He was twenty nine, the age that I was. No, 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 no. How old was he? Oh, no, 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 no. How old okay. was he when he proposed? How old was he? He was twenty nine when he proposed. And how old were you? Uh, so it was when I 22, so three years. But he didn't earn the money. N no, that wasn't a, it wasn't a earned. All right. So ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Men who have to earn their money. Yes. I think, you know, the questions I'm asking and I think well, it's kind of starting to crystallize that. I mean, you're an average woman. Okay. Which is. Which is six? No, uh, which five? Is, which no, which is I'm not going to rank you. You're average looking, but that means okay. you don't get a man in the top five, top top ten percent, top five percent, top one percent. It's not okay. that's not realistic. Okay, so I have another. Can I can I ask a well, question? Okay. <clears throat> the better question is why okay. do so why do average women like yourself? Who would even rank yourself as you say you're over you're overweight. You can say it's now, but that you say it. Yeah. Okay. 
Why would a woman who puts herself in that category, wait, in the category of look that you put yourself in, want a man that's in an elite level? Why would why do those things logically match up? That's what my goal is. I don't. Um, that's your goal, but is that that's not the question I ask you? Do those things logically match up? Does not at the, the the, not, not see and see that's what you ladies do. You do that BS. It's not. What do you mean not at the moment? Harvard, Princeton, Brown, Columbia, and you're a C student coming out of Acme High School. Do you think there's any moment that you could get into one of those schools as an average person coming out of Acme High? No, no. You have to have... Well, exactly. Well, it's the same thing in the dating market. You want a man that's elite level and you're average. Okay. And I'm asking you, why do you expect... Why do you, Why is that... Why is that even in your viewpoint? Why is that even... Here's a question, because like when 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 I was around your age, average women didn't expect rich men. Okay. That's just the bottom line. Average women did not expect rich men. And nowadays, as all all the average women seem to want rich men, and now they even want, don't even want nine to five guys. Why? Why do you need that? Why do I need it? Mm-hmm. Is that is yeah? That why do you need? Me? Why do you need a rich man? A high earner, a man who's making three hundred fifty thousand dollars makes a million dollars in three years. Why do you need a man who's making that kind of money? It's for the future of my kids. That's it. Lineage. Is there something wrong with that? Were your mother and father married? Yes, they were. For the future of your kids, then if that's the case, correct. Why'd you go to? Wh- then why didn't you focus on getting married when you were younger and lighter, younger and weight less? I, I did focus on that, but it fell through. Correct. Why? We just, I mean, after the proposal, we just didn't see eye to eye. What does that I mean? Would say. I mean, just on certain. All right, some, I got other people coming in because uh, uh, they're, they're, I'm starting. I'm starting to get the BS vibes, ma'am. Um, and I don't feel okay. like doing this with you. At the end of the day, if you were engaged to somebody who had all this money, and it didn't work out, who broke off the engagement? He, I broke off the. Engagement. You broke it off. There you go. Yeah, that's my fault. Yeah. All right. But I, I bullshit. There was so many lies being told in that piece. I swear to God, I I did not want to have to roast that woman, but she was lying her butt off. You're an average looking woman at best, man. You know you ain't ain't no size eight, no 160 pounds, engaged to a rich, and I need the French toast out of here. Um, Here we go. Um... In order of Theo, if you're not if you're not on the camera, I'm going to ask you guys to start your video, and I'm going to go to Tay Theo or F T Theo. That's where you're going to go first. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. Are your super high standards keeping you single? I am thinking that they are. Um, I'm 20 and. So some of the men that I have been interested in have not really shown the same kind of interest in me. Um, I would consider them people that I find desirable, but hold on, hold on. In my experience, you're twenty. Are you in college? Yeah. Yeah. When you say super high standards, what are you talking about? Super high standards, as in someone who has a sense of purpose. Um, who knows generally where they want to go in their future, um, who is relatively confident. And that's not, who... that's not a, okay, ma'am. Have you watched my show? Yes. 
Is that what I call? Is what I, is that what I talk about? Okay, so then by your standards, that's that's the only standard I'm concerned with. High standard. I'm talking about the man, a man who has money, network, <laughs> gravitas, that kind of stuff. Not all this in, in, intangible stuff. I'm talking about yeah, shit so, that everybody in the world can verify and say that person's high value. Okay. Well, then in that case, it those men do tend to have those kinds of connections, I would say. The men that it, I'm interested in, their families tend to have those kinds of networks. All right. And at 20 years old, ma'am, are them. you in college? Yeah. Okay. How tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five five. Dress size? I think size 8. Yeah. Sorry, just like we have different measurements where I'm at, so we don't have like. All right. Um, you're you're a little kind of young for this conversation. Um, okay. You're not even out of college yet. Uh, you were in high school two years ago, and I don't really think you're asking the question. I don't. I don't even think you understand what we're asking over here, and that's not an insult, but. I'm asking for women who have something, have already experienced life. You're just now getting into it. Okay. Is your, is your, are your mother and father married? No. Where's your father? He is somewhere in a different country, I'm thinking. He has a wife and kids. Okay. Therapy? Because I am pursuing therapy. Good. Because... Um, you're you're far you're 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 trying to take on problems and things that aren't are going on in your world. Somebody who's a sophomore in college that roughly area should not be having any of these questions going on right now. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good night. Thank you. Um, uh, Matt. Yeah. Go ahead and pronounce your name, ma'am. I can't pronounce your name. Matisse. How are you? Hi, how are you? I am well. Are your super high standards keeping you single? Well, yes, it had kept me single. It had um, or I'm it had? Single. It has or it had? Well, I was I was once married. Okay. Um, I'm actually, I'm 63 years old and um, divorced after 20 years of marriage. Okay. I got married at 21 and divorced um, 20 years later. Um, so you're 63? With no regrets. I'm 63. But yeah. Are you expecting to get married again? Well, I have a boyfriend, so uh, no. and he's in the upper echelon. No, I'm asking. I said, Excuse are, you, me? are you expecting to get married again? Uh we could do that. It would be nice. Okay. I would love his last name. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and time you out, dude. If you come in here typing in caps again, I'm going to block you on my channel. Um, 63, are you? Yeah. Um, the conversation, are your high standards keeping you single? You got a boyfriend and you're looking to get. I have a boyfriend. Okay. So what do you have? What do you, what do you have? On, what do you have on this topic? Because. I don't. I'm not, as far as I'm not understanding, I was trying to. I was trying to. Um, I wanted to contribute that my hobbies, my interests, and my hobbies help introduce me into uh, men that no, were no, of no, higher no, value. No, 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 that's not what we do. I'm asking ladies a question. No, I'm, no. I'm asking women questions. I'm not asking women to ask, give contributions to other women. That's not what I'm doing. Okay. Um, so, as far as the question is concerned, well, if you um, is your is your is your if you've already been married once, you've and at sixty three, yes, for twenty years, uh, great. So you've already kind of been there, done that. Um, if you have a boyfriend, yeah. congratulations. But this conversation is kind of past you. This is for your younger okay, people. Okay, but thank you anyway. Thank you. I I joined your group. I, I I'm a monthly contributor. Okay. Thank you very much, though. There are other conversations, but this one just may not be it. Thanks. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Yeah, see, there are conversations. I don't want to have everybody just come in and just throw stuff in. iPhone. Uh, you're going to have to get on the camera. 
Uh, if I can't see, you don't get on. Do 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 do. Uh, and Miranda, I'm going to boot you. JJ, I'm going to boot you because you're not getting on the camera. Do 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 do. And iPhone, uh, you're going to either get on or I'm going to put you out of the chat room. That's you, iPhone. <laughs> Come on, troll. Step into the light. You ever watch The uh, Hobbit? You know, if sunlight hits trolls, they turn to stone. Step into the light. Step into the light, trolly troll troll. All right. The reason I ended the first phone call with that, that person, why I ended that first phone call is because so many women who tend to call into this broadcast, they're trying to get something. You're trying to get a, an answer that's usable when you're lying. Understand something. If you lie or are deceptive or you're holding back, you cannot get something that's going to be wholly useful. Let me say it again. Like it or not, men, high value men want fit women. If you're over a size four, knock it off. You knock yourself out of contention for high value men. And, and if you're five foot nine, you can be a dress size six. And I'm hearing all these women coming here talking about dress size eight. And I'm like, I'm looking at your arms, your neck and your shoulders. Ain't nothing ate about you except what you just ate. There ain't no eight. Women who are dress size eights don't have big arms, broad shoulders, and cheeks. I don't know why you have, I think I can't see. My eyes aren't going on. Okay, so here's what's going to go on from this dude. Do, 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 do. Money world. Bye, ice cold. You get away now. So, um, another reason this this subject tends to piss people off is because so many women want men's money. You don't want to have to work. You don't want to have to work. You think so many women se seem to think that they deserve to be stay at home mothers because. Uh, I'll marry a guy and then staying at home, I'll raise better kids. When 73%, 72% of all mothers in this country work full or part time. Don't understand how so many black women don't want to work, especially when you're average looking. And I'm using that word for a very simple reason. Angel, you need to connect your mic. Average looking. Average people have to work. Women who weigh as much as men have to work. If you wait, let me say this. If you weigh whatever your height is, if you weigh as much or more than a man at your weight, it's very likely you're going to have to work. You're 5'4", 160. That's how much a man weighs at 5'9". And I, I am truly perplexed as why so many average women want elite level men. Feel as though they deserve them. Angel. Hello. Hello. How, how old are you? I'm 22. What? I'm about to turn 23 in like two days. Okay. So are you out of college yet? No. Okay, so as a 22-year-old woman, what do you have to contribute to this super high standards conversation? I believe I was one of those women with two high standards. Okay. Uh, go ahead and explain. Because uh, I'm kind of perplexed at, at your age. You should still be right, right about getting out of college. So go ahead. Yeah, I say that because I feel like, you know, my parents wanted the best for me. And so they were always saying, you know, strive for the best, you know, do your best. But I always felt like I wasn't the most beautiful. And so society would check me 
But then I would hear another thing from friends and family because they were just trying to be sweet. Did someone try to propose to you or marry you? No, no. I just recently started dating, like last year. So, ma'am, this isn't a conversation you can even be in if you haven't had any men. Well, I have started dating, but, but that's a, but I no, say no, that no, no. I haven't. Oh, listen, listen. You're too young for this conversation. And if you haven't mm-hmm. really had any serious relationships, you, you, it hasn't cost you anything. You guys are rushing to get into this conversation. This conversation is better off for women in their mid to late twenties, early thirties. Not mm-hmm. women who are 20. Oh. Okay. I mean, I, you can't high, have high standards at your age because the men that you would date, they can, they don't have any money unless you date. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. She is pretty though. Yeah, you're pretty. Your, your parents told you the truth. So, uh, Miss McDaniels, yeah, trolls, here's the thing. Trolls, don't worry. You're not going to get... If you want to troll, you're going to get on here and show yourself and get in. There you go. Now, what are we saying? See, this is one of the things a lot of black women really complain, fuss about. They feel like it's unfair that I can go as a black woman. Black women feel like I've heard a lot of black women who are in that Angie and Tina range that they feel like they get penalized for going to school and being driven and career driven and successful. And that's not true. It's not the school, the job or the money. It's the attitude that comes along with it for some of you. And it's the fact that far too many of you go down that path and you let your physical beauty go. See, if you're going to school to get an MBA and you're 115 pounds, oh, that's different. But if you're going to school to get an MBA and you're 175 pounds, it's not the MBA, sis. It's the fact that you let yourself go because you thought that MBA was going to count. And it doesn't. It doesn't count until after Mark or Keith Henry is attracted to you. Doesn't count. That's where a lot of folks tend to be like, well, uh, so even Tommy Lauren was trying to make that point too. Well, you should value these things. These men don't need your money. They don't need your ambition. I honestly think if you're an average woman, you will be, it makes sense to deal with an average man because honestly, if you want to have the next part of the conversation, if you're an average woman, can you move in? Are you comfortable moving in a high value world in a high value way? Two or three nights ago, I asked a woman about high value this, high value that. And I asked her about a dinner party. Dinner parties are common. And I asked her, have you ever hosted a dinner party? And a woman who was adept at moving in a high value way moving in that, in that socioeconomic status would not only tell you yes, she'd tell you about how she hosted it. The theme, the invitations look like, the guest list. She would have known all that stuff. Who cooked, who did the catering, who did the valet, who did the cleanup, the conversations that were discussed, all this stuff. And if you've never been to a, this dinner party, it's a different world. MBA, MBA, Masters in Business Administration. I've got some, I got some um, kind of stalkers right now. I don't know why so many guys call over here and want to talk to me. I would like to say it's your daddy issues, but it's becoming it's becoming really weird, man. I'm straight. I've been straight my whole life. I love women. I'm not into dudes. 
So please stop stalking me. Stop trying to talk to me. Stop trying to be my girlfriend. I like chicks, not dudes, homeboy. Etiquette is key. Etiquette matters, yes. But more than, you know, um, you can go, you can go take etiquette classes. Um, but if your attitude is gruff, etiquette really won't even help. Are you serious? Are you, are you high? No, no. Go ahead and unmute yourself, please. Hello? Hi. Go ahead and speak up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, uh, go ahead. I can barely hear you. Stop moving around, please. Stop moving around. Go ahead. I can now. Okay, so your question was to do have I got high standards? Uh, uh, now I can I can barely oh, hear you. You're fading out again. That microphone you got on, are you on your laptop or are you on a, uh, a mobile phone? Um, I'm on my tablet. You're on your tablet? Uh, on a tablet? Hmm. I'm gonna talk closer. Can you hear me? Well, stand right, stay right there and go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, you have high standards. Do you have high standards? Yes. You do? Why? I think I have high standards. You need to st you need to keep as close. Hey, you, hey, what I need you to do is you can't move away from the microphone. Your lap, your your tablet is the microphone is bad. Just say 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 something right now. Speak. Thank you. All right, stay right there. So, why do you have high standards? There's things that I just won't accept um, in regards to dating. For example, if I'm speaking to a guy and he wants to have sex with me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ma'am, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You go back out and come back in because your microphone is bad. And you're talking about you have high standards and there are things you won't accept. And I don't know, you know, I'll have the conversation with you, but I need to be able to hear you. And I can hear everybody else. It's your microphone. Hello? There we go. Get back on the mic. Perfect. Right there. Stay right there. <laughs> Keep your mouth on it. Okay. So why, what do you mean there are things you won't accept? So recently, um, I was talking to two gentlemen. Um, I just thought, let me start dating again. And I realized that um, this was some of the guys that I had. Some, not all. That Are you nervous? A little bit. I'm just trying to... Because um, you're sweating. Oh, no, no. I just, I just wet my hair. So it's, it's, it's you, you you just wet your hair? Okay. So there were two guys that were trying to date you and you did what? No, no, no. <laughs> um, it's 4 a.m. and I was in bed and I felt like the, the conversation... Okay, just get on to, get on to it, ma'am. Uh, you said you have high standards of things you won't accept. Um, how old are you? Um, 29. 29? Yeah. 
You have any kids? No. Why do you have high standards? I would say I don't. Where I am in my life, um, I say I would. I'm, I'm ambitious. Um, I'm open-minded. Uh, I live by myself. I pay my own bills. You're um, ambitious. What do you do for a living? Um, I work as a PA slash accounts assistant. And I'm also Hold on, slow, slow again, slow again. You work as a what assistant? An account assistant? Yes. What does that mean? So I do bookkeeping, I prepare accounts. You're a clerical. Um, I do yes. That's not ambitious. No, I'm currently working on my online networking. Um, online networking. Business. Online networking? Is it making any money? I've just started. Then that's not ambitious, man. You're, you're an average person with a job. Absolutely. But, but why, okay, but so why do you have super high standards as an average person? Because um, I would say I have, um, okay, so I have goals. Okay, we all have goals, man, but goals without, okay. How tall are you? Say again. When I when I talk to people, how tall are you? Um, I put one. I believe. I need you to get back to your microphone. Okay, ma'am. I need you to understand. I need you to stay right there with your microphone. Five foot one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. How? What size dress size do you wear? Um, in the UK, it's sixteen. I'm not sure what it is in America. And how much do you weigh? Say again? I, I really don't know. You don't know how much you weigh? Come on, ma'am. You know how much you weigh. I actually don't. Huh? I actually don't. Say again? I actually don't. Stones? I don't. Um, body shape-wise, um... I'm Ghanaian, so I'm pretty much I'm petite, uh, small waist, big bum. You small waisted? But, you say you small waisted? Uh, Ma'am, yeah. you're five foot one, and you're wearing dress size sixteen, so you're two hundred pounds plus. No. Uh, yes. You don't weigh yourself. Why? Because the truth is on the scale. Um, Are you being serious with me, ma'am? Because you're you're talking as though you're you got these high value and all these high standards. You're almost thirty nine years. You're almost you're not about to be thirty years old. You wear a dress size sixteen, and you're a clerical person. No, ma'am. That 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 if that's true, you have no reason having high, super high standards. I don't, I don't think I, ha, I don't think my standards are high, but I don't, I don't think my standards are high. I would say medium. It's just in regards to dating, what I, I'm more than I believe that when I'm talking to someone, I'm more than just what I look like, and what I tend to get is conversations that doesn't go past that. Alright, ma'am. Here's what you do. Do you have anything other than this janky tablet? Do you have a headset or something you can plug in? I can try. I'm not sure if it'll work. Let me give it a try. Oh! Hello. Yeah, I was so sorry. You sure? Right. You sure you're not sweating? No, like literally, I've just soaked my hair in the shower. All right, so all right, so when you you said you're dating, you're dealing with dating two men. No, no, I was talking, so I 
I went on a date um, and then the person that I was talking to, I was trying, when we were having a conversation. All right, so let's get right down to it. Hi, value man, ma'am. Do you want, do you, do you want to date a man? Do you want to get married? Marriage. Is marriage something you desire? Do you want to work after you're married? I do. You... Um, however, um, I'm more interested in having a home-based business. All right. Okay. And if you don't get married, what is life going to look like for you? What Can you take care of your, Will you be able to do all these things you want to do? And live this successful yes. life as a clerical person? Yes. Okay. Well, here's what you do. You come back when you get a better microphone set up, ma'am. I'll put you back in the I'll put you in the in the waiting room. I can't make this stuff up. I just can't do it. Uh who is that up there? Zoe? She got the straight. Hi. She got the straight Rick James 1980 super freak going on. She's a super freak, super freak. <laughs> She's super freaking. Yeah, go ahead, Zoe. Temptation sing. Whoa, go ahead. Are your high standards keeping your ass single? Um, they could be. Um, well, how old are you? Yeah, I'm 30. All right, how many kids you got? I don't have any children. How tall are you? I'm five two. Dress size? Um, like a size zero. Huh? Zero? Yeah. Is that your hair? Or is that like yes. a it's like a poof? <laughs> All right. So so tell me do you want to get married? Do you wanna have kids? You know, the whole spiel. Yeah, I wanna get married. I wanna start a family. And I just want to do it under the right circumstances. What does that mean? Um, I want to do it with a partner who has, you know, enough resources to provide for me and the children. What do you mean a partner? You're a wife. You're not a partner. Okay, a husband. I mean, are you looking on YouTube? No, I'm not looking on YouTube. All right. So did you go to college? Yeah, I went to college, graduated. All right. So what was the longest college. relationship you've had? Two and a half years. Five years? I said two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. Okay. And why didn't that work? Um, my boyfriend at the time was more marriage minded than I was. Oh. Yeah. So he wanted to get married and you were just... Well, get, well, he was looking for a wife and he was really particular about the qualities that that person should possess such, or that woman should possess such as um you know he wanted to be served first when night when we would cook together you know he wanted sex on demand <laughs> but at the time i okay was, okay I, hold on he wanted to be served first he wanted sex on demand and mm-hmm. what's wrong with that Listen, I, it's not that I didn't have a problem. It's just I wasn't necessarily getting much in exchange. You weren't getting much in exchange? Yeah. Oh. Other than the opportunity oh, hold to on. serve a man. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You picked him though, right? I did pick him. Oh, okay. And you were involved with him for how many years? Two and a half. Okay. So why did you stay after the first time he asked you to serve him? Since though he was such a deadbeat bum who didn't deserve a meal to be served to him. I don't know if I said that he was a deadbeat bum. Well, he wasn't. He wasn't. Him. He wasn't all that. I mean, because all he asked to do was to be served, and then to have sex on demand. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. If he wasn't worth, if, if he, he no, my question is this: If he wasn't worth doing that for, why did you stay past that day? I stayed past that day because I wanted to be in a relationship with him 
Why? And I was hoping Why? things would work out. Why? Because at the time, I felt like that was just a woman's role in a relationship. No, 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 no. No, a woman. No, he, your boyfriend wanted you to serve him food and sex on demand. You did not want to do that. Right? It's not that I did no, not want okay. to do Okay, did things. you do it? That's not what did I you said. do it? I did, but I became resentful. Okay, which meant he that which meant he wasn't worth it. If he had 50 billion dollars in the bank, would you have been resentful of serving if he, if he had, didn't spend any of that on me? It's, you know. All right, ma'am, you know the game. Okay, stuff. I'm start now we're getting there. All right, now we're getting there. You know the question I'm answering. You know the question I'm asking. And, but you want to slice it down to where you can always be right. Let's try this again. If he had $50 billion in the bank, would you have had a problem serving him and giving him sex on demand? No, Kevin. Of course you wouldn't. So you making that distinction was... All right. So why'd you stay? I stayed because at the time I thought that love was all that was really needed for a successful relationship. Okay. But you you loved him, just not enough to not be resentful of having to have sex with your boyfriend. I don't understand where, where this is. Where, I mean, we're talking about having sex with your boyfriend. Why would you become resentful of having sex with your boyfriend and then serving him food? I came very now, hold on. If if you loved him. Well, I think I became resentful because in that relationship my needs were not being met. Uh-huh. What does that mean? What 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 need, think, what needs weren't being met? Well, I think provisions. Were you his wife? You know, I was not his wife, I was his girlfriend. Then you don't get provision. That's a wifely thing. Did he want to marry okay. you? Did he want to marry you? He didn't propose. All right. So as we go back, you were with the man that you, you, you stayed with him because you said you loved him, but then you resented him for doing basic stuff. And then why stay for two and a half years? Why not leave? That's the real kind of question, man, because what I'm trying to get to is, ma'am, you picked the situation. Correct. All right. So. And um, I think, I think honestly, I thought it was the best that I could do. There you go. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you for finally answering the truth. A woman who finally said the truth. I was with this dude because this is the best I could get. Make me have to ask you 50, 11 million questions, but that's it. This is the best I could do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, what? Okay. So can you do better now? Uh oh. I mean, compared to my 25 year old self. Uh, can you do better than this now? I'm just asking, can you do better? Yeah, I think so. All right. Who are you seeing right now? Um, a gentleman who's 35 and he's a professor. Professors aren't, do you want, okay. Do you want to be a stay at home wife? Ideally. Ideal. So that's a yes. Yes. So again, yes or no questions to get yes or no answers. How many kids do you want? Two. Two. Uh, do professors make enough money to have a wife with two kids to stay at home? Well, he's currently making around 215 And what city or state? Los Angeles. That ain't shit. Los Angeles. That's a hundred thousand. It's a hundred and seven thousand dollars anywhere else. Two fifteen is. There's a police sergeant. There's a police. Uh, a third year, second, six year police guy, L.A. Six years, made two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars last year. A cop. I said, 
I said currently. But, but my like point is, no, listen, man. My point is, of- my point is, two hundred fifteen thousand dollars is not enough in L.A. to afford a wife to stay at home with two kids. And professors, Correct. professors are not fast track. Or exponential earners. He's making what he's going to pretty much make. It's not like a professor can say, I'm a first year professor, but in the 10th year, man, I'll be pulling down a million. No, he's going to be making 250. He's, that money's not going to go much. Why don't you want to work? I'd like to work from home if if I had to work. Yo, you're going you're gonna to work. You're going to work. <laughs> I mean, you're 30 years old. You're not a young woman. You're going to work. You're in L.A. You're going to work. And this is what I mean by these super high standards. I don't have to ask you where you rank. I already can tell that you really feel like you should be getting more than you are. But your life is showing you different. Correct. In L.A., in L.A., ma'am, do I have to go there? No, I know exactly what you mean. So it's very competitive. So why be resentful of God? Uh, because I mean, this is what I don't understand. Why be resentful of a man who just wanted you to serve him some dinner and have sex with him? I would not be resentful of that if I felt like in the future we would have, I would be able to have a, a relationship where I got to work from home and be provided exactly for, not ah, they, say it again i would give you what you want if you can provide for me above the level of somebody on my level should get that's what you basically said i would i would give you basic service because just having sex with your boyfriend is basic as hell and serving him first is just a matter of courtesy but you willing to you willing to do something basic and courteous if he could do something that's extraordinary, sitting your ass down in the house and not having to work. Yeah, this is a perfect example of a woman who wants a better deal than she brings. I agree. That's why I said, um, does your. But why why are you why, why do you feel so entitled? Why do you feel like you should get that? I mean, I'm gonna ask the question: What's so special about you? Why should you get an elite, elite level treatment? Um, I don't think I'm any more special than the next woman. But you want more special than the next woman. You don't want what seventy two percent of mothers in this country work full or part time. And I would be willing to work from home. And I working from home is a luxury that most women don't get. That's bullshit. Most people don't. 20 percent of people own businesses. Seventy to eighty percent of people in this country work for somebody else. Why do you? Why does? The, why are you so special? What? Oh, here's a question. What's your degree in? Biology. Name me a fucking biology company that you can work from home for. You didn't go to school to work from home. No, I didn't. (laughs) I'm currently working from home. A biology major. You don't have a lab at home. (laughs) I don't. I'm, I'm being funny, but I'm not being funny. And see, this is why so many of our sisters end up eternally unmarried. You know how many white women I or non-black women I mean who are biology majors, who are wives, who have jobs somewhere and are just happy to be with their man. And you're sitting up here talking about I began to get resentful because he wanted me to have sex. Well, you'd have been happy if he'd have been having sex with somebody else instead of you? No. So he can't get it from you, and he wouldn't got it somewhere else. He couldn't get it. So there's a meal. Go get your own shit out of there, Negro. Okay. You're cuter than most. Your ass is up on your shoulders. That ain't going to end up well, man. Attitude adjustment will be well deserved. Because you're in L.A. L.A., you are average cute. You know that. L.A., one of the most competitive markets in the world. And there are women out there 
who have more on the ball, more on their resume, and far exceed your looks, who don't get what you what you're asking for. Okay. Best of luck. I'm sorry, I have little to no patience for women who sit up there like butter won't melt in their mouth, like a man is supposed to go out and slay the entire world for an average looking woman to do just ordinary stuff. Understand something. All she was offering was sex and courtesy. That's it. That's the extent of her offer. You can get you can get access to my body and basic courtesy. Mm. Ain't that a bust? All right. So next up, we're going to go back to. Ba- you can have access to my body. Uh huh. See, L.A. ain't no joke. Oh, she's back. All right. Okay. Well, I think this was going to need a. Uh, Mimi, are you trying to... Okay, here we're going to have to do this. Put you back in the waiting room. All right. This is a replay for last night. Mimi, are you ready? Oh, Lord have mercy. Jesus. Wait, me. Let, me, let me unmute you first before you start running your mouth. I'm asking to unmute. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay. Me, 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 What's going on? Okay. <laughs> so it's, this is on topic, but it's a question that I have and it's also on behalf of my friend. You, a question so, you, hold on, a question you have for what? I, this is on topic, but also my friend and I were talking about this tonight. So a it's, friend? Is it male I, or female? Female. Okay. Okay. So what if you seek high standards or high quality men because of your experience with men that are not high quality. Like, you know, what if you've, you've dated regular guys and they didn't know how to, they were intimidated. Uh, That's a loaded question. The question is, the question is basically you, you, high standard so basically what you're implying is that men who are not high value don't have culture or are not well read learn it cannot move in these places cannot adapt well in society mm-hmm. is that what you're saying right that's not true well, hold on that's no, it. hold on if, that, if that's what you're saying that's not true i have I'm, <laughs> hold on i'm listening is that what you're saying though no all right, restate the question then. A question is, if you are a, an individual female that now your goal is to seek a high value man because your experience with men that were considered not high value has been bad and it's based on how you've been treated. All right, from the- let me stop you right there. If you're seeking high value men because the men you dated who are not high value treated you poorly. The assumption is high value men will treat you better. The question is, I would have to know about the poor treatment. Because if the poor treatment was uh, oftentimes, Mimi, most people don't look in the mirror and realize that the reason they get treated a certain way is because you get what you give. High value men are not saints. Yeah. They have more money and more stuff, but they're human, just like everybody else. So going into a man who has high value, thinking he's going to be Prince Charming is a is a big mistake. But more importantly, but more importantly, uh, is this a female friend of yours? Yeah, me and my best friend, we were talking about that tonight because uh, uh-huh. he was he was trying to give me <laughs> advice on why she feels like I'm still single. And is she single? 
Who? Is she still single? Um, she's recently single, guys. I mean, is she? I mean, recently divorced. Um, her. Well, they had to separate because he got deported. Is she there now? You keep looking over there, Anna. No. <laughs> I'm a bit tipsy. I'm sorry. I had a lot to drink tonight, but um, mm, I know that's why you got them things all up in the camera. Stop shooting your shot, girl. <laughs> oh my bad. I'm sorry. I tried to put a robe on. <laughs> right, but more importantly, uh, high value men are going to do what? Is this for you? Well, I guess it's kind of like for both of us, but but I guess for you, I don't. I don't know about your friend, but I'm talking about you. From what we, our last conversation, what kind of man do you think would fit or work for you? I don't know. That's why I need your help. Because I don't really care about financial status per se, but like, I feel like okay. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna you need my this. okay. If you need my help, I gave you. I gave you instructions on what to do. I, I am gonna do that. I'm sorry. Well, let me. I, let, I, but let me explain. But see, I'm. I'm half joking and I'm half serious. Because when you okay. came in, I saw lots of guys in the comment section like, "Ooh, me, 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 me," and they've been all on your page talking about stuff and can Look, I don't want to do this on the air. Okay. But there are things that I. I am gathering from you that you need direction, whether or not you yeah. use them that are going to be beneficial to you and your son. If everything that you told me is true and accurate, I don't want mm -hmm. to do this here, Mimi. And okay. calling into my show yeah. is not the best place to facilitate uh, any kind of exchange or any kind of growth or help. Okay. It's just not. Okay. Well, I just called in because you're- I got it. I got it. But, I, but, but see, here's the thing. I'll say that to you, but see, I've had other women do that too. Uh, but I don't think, I don't feel like you're being that person. So, but uh, okay. um, now here's the thing I would say taking a relationship advice from women, it's not a good idea. She's well, and she's well meaning, but um, based on our exchange, I think you can realize how, how uh, tunnel vision females can be. All right, book a session. I'm definitely going to consult him. Well, I'm going to hit yeah. you up. Uh -huh. and, and keep them boobs off the camera. I don't need all that distraction. Y'all stay out of her inbox, shooting shots and carrying on. Y'all in there trying to get chose. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this show up. Uh, we've been going on for a while. Let me see if I can get Hillary back in, Helena back in. Let me see. We'll take one more. We got all these people back on. Let's see who gets on camera first. Oh, all right. Let's see. We got Sharika. She she got her hair all. She's like, oh oh, I'm getting my hair together. Uh, hold on. Let me unmute you first before you start talking shit. Hello. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, Sharika. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello. H hello. Hi. Can how you hear me? Yes. How old are you? Um, I'm 25. 25. Uh oh. Mm, mm, mm. Are your high standards keeping you unmarried, single, near danger zone? Uh, I don't think so, but I do think. Um. Okay, I'm on the line. Okay, I do think that could be a possibility in the near future. Um, I mean, I've had my friends tell me that, but I think like- longest relationship, at, longest relationship you've ever had? Three years. How long ago was that? Uh, like, maybe like, like a month ago. A month ago? Yeah, what? but I'm quite sure like this person is gonna be the one. But, three but I do have questions. Wait a minute, the person you got, you broke up with is going to be the one? Yes. Bro? How's he going to be the one if you broke up with him? Uh, just because even though, like, we've been in each other's lives for, like, a really long time and just... Did you break up with him just, or did he break up with you? I broke up with him. Why? Because he did not have time for me. Um, and so we're both in a point in our lives. Let me stop you right there. Find... Let me stop you right there. Hold on. Hold on. Is he older than you? Yeah, he is. How much? 
four years. And why doesn't he have time? Because he wants to finish his designations. He's working. Working out. And he, you've been in the three. Well, hold on, hold on. You've been together three years. Yes. And now because he's busy, you broke up with him. So what do you um, want him to stop being? So would you like him to stop working so he'd have all the time to spend with you? <laughs> Uh, absolutely not. It's not something that I realized. Oh, I be and you broke up with him? Yeah. What, are you going to be happy when you go knock on the door and Jessica's sitting in there? Absolutely not. And what the <laughs> fuck are you playing games for? Exactly. So, so you're calling me for what? what so call. you're calling me for what? Me to tell you to pick up the phone and say, I'm sorry? No, 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 no. I can do that. And, I, you know, I have. Okay, let's call them together. You. What's his phone number? No, 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 no. <laughs> you're not going to say you're sorry to him for breaking up? The man is working. No, I know. And I totally understand that. I, I have already you didn't totally that understand that, that you broke up with a, you know, a, a man of three years. I know. And he ain't going to turn I around know. to a show and say he's the one. He's not the one. He ain't your man right now. Okay. We're currently in the process of doing back together, but he totally understands that. What do you mean currently in the, the process wrong? of getting back together? It's a conversation. No, no stop the bullshit. Don't look, sis. Sounds like you won early. Sounds like you won early. You're 23. You had a man for three years. No, 20, 25. I'm currently 25. Okay, 25. But you've been with him since you were 22, three years? I met, I met him when I was 20. Okay. So you won early. And you're going to throw it away or, or or jeopardize it or or disturb the constitution of the relationship over some silly shit. That's why See, a lot of you ladies like to inject chaos because when stuff is just going like this and normal, it's boring. So you need some spice. Man, if you don't get no, up. And I agree with you. That's not the case and it doesn't need to be like that at all. And I think the faster you mature, you realize that as well. Uh, then call him and say, I was so I'm sorry. I shouldn't have did that. And uh, I'll be nice, but there's a penalty to pay for when you do stuff like that, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Assume the position. Prepare to be there for a while. But no, seriously, go back to your man. Go I know, on I and go, go back to your man. Get 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 your single friends or your girlfriends who say, y'all got it. When he proposes, you accept. Carry your ass on down the aisle and, and go make a life. Stop trying to yeah, you don't want to be over here. You don't want to be on Tinder and Bumble, sis. You don't. I, I don't. I don't. And I don't go on those type of stuff because, like, I already, like, I knew very early on, like, when we met with him, he's going to be the one. Well, then, my 20s, then, go, then the, the next phone call you should make is to him. <laughs> you know what? I told a guy in front of, on YouTube in front of 5,000 people, you're going to be the one. There you go. Go tell him that now. Okay. Before I go ahead, though, I wanted to ask a question about, um, about is high value getting in the way of like well I guess this, this actually does not apply to me I was just calling because this is a really interesting show but more so I did have a question but you kind of already solved that for me so thank you you're welcome <laughs> bye 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 playing games with that man alright alright we're gonna get up out of here oh Paul baby my trolls didn't get a chance to come back in. My troll is mad. He like, dang, man. Let me back in the room, man. I want to talk to you, dude. I want to talk to you. I want to be saying your name. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
high value men, their shit stinks too. Not they're not angelic beings. The problems in high value relationships too. Thinking that a man who has more money, I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because I've heard women talk about men of high value, of high status, of high society, like they're a different breed of human being. No, they are not. They're just more polished at doing the shit that they do. There's more polished at doing the crap that they do. Uh, Super chat for Mimi Valdez. That what that be? So that's what it is. I I won't, I, <clears throat> I would. I think it'll be so much better if we stop looking at anything other than high value as being worthless. We got to come up with the errands. Why errands are? <laughs> Aaron is in your league. You're in Aaron's league, and many of you would do well, be fortunate to get an Aaron. Henry ain't for everybody. And if you can't meet Henry's level, uh, he's not going to be with you. Because if you were Hillary, you wouldn't accept Aaron. Oh, I said it, didn't I? But anyway, I got to get up out of here. Got to get up out of here. Velvet Monroe. He said, I love all this channel. I love this channel despite all the hate. Let me, let me explain something. Ladies, people, I don't control who comes to the chat room. But one of the things you can do as women, if you don't know the person making a comment and you perceive it as hate, let it go. Let it go. Um, I don't even look in the comment section a lot of times because it's a public forum. You give it life. Now, I've heard things that I say get characterized as hate and it's anything but. Unless you're sitting down with a person and have a one-to-one relationship, a one-to-one conversation, you cannot say that person hates you, you hate that person. That's too much energy specifically to give to a complete and utter stranger. We got to have better words. Aaron, Aaron means, uh, I forgot what I meant. Average guy in the middle. There's, there's a guy who's right here, firmly middle class around that 40 to $50,000. Then you got a guy who's right around that 70 to $85,000. That's the guy that I've somehow called Aaron. It's in the show. And then the guys who are Henry's that are that $10,000 a month or more. Guys in the middle class are over here. We're talking about men who did something with themselves. You don't become an Aaron without some sort of degree, some sort of certification, some sort of secondary, with some sort of additional training. You don't just get that working uh, a job out of high school. You have to have some skills. And far too many women are looking over men like that because of this perceived benefit of having this high value man that can provide a high value lifestyle, which is also going to come with high value pressures. Mark and him, Mark and the Henrys, Mark and the Keith Henrys, oh, Mark and the Blake Henrys, they don't, there is pressure to be a high value wife because there's pressure to be a high value man. What level of pressure are you willing to deal with? Do you want high value pressure? Do you want errand level pressure? Do you want middle class level pressure? It's all different. Anyway, I got to get up out of here. We're about to move on. It's almost, uh, it ain't, it ain't that, it ain't that quite that time yet. But anyway, until next time, peace. We are gone. No, not that one. I'll stay out of Mimi's inbox.
playlist will be out this weekend with the videos and corresponding. Got another video dropping tonight. Gotta buy another computer, man. This the requirements and this thing is crazy. Join the channel, support the movement on Patreon. Watch videos that you will only see there. I gotta remember to turn the music down when I start doing this. Join me on IG for videos, things you will only see in the frat room. Instagram Live is where I go to every day to talk about things you'll never see here. When it's up, it's up. When it's gone, it's gone. Check it out. A lot of growth on Instagram. Thank you to everybody. Email your show ideas to info at buykevinsamuels.com or go to buykevinsamuels.com to book your one-on-one -on -one personal advice line, your interpersonal communication, corporate or career advice, or your virtual consultation. And if you don't see anything that quite fits, just book a customized hour session we can kind of chop it up then. We can discuss things then. If you're interested in life coaching, you have to contact me directly at info at bykevintimes.com. If you're a patron, it's listed on the Patreon. When, in, when the class or the enrollment sections are closed, they are closed. Respect my inbox. Thank you, folks. Good night.